Right in the nuts, dude. That's right. You deserve it. Actually, how do we know Edgar deserves it? Maybe he was a decent human being until the virus took over him. I wouldn't bet money on that, though. Maybe he was the most benevolent, philanthropic, uh, kindest fat guy in the world. I don't know. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. And uh, I've made up my mind. I think we are going to go try that buried treasure quest, and God help us. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. We got a couple of achieve uh, achievements here. We placed a torch. Uh, let's do that. And we have uh, eat. We, we've eaten charred meat. Uh, I had a, one piece of charred meat, so I ate that. And, oh, we got a new one here, farming chrysanthemum. Nice. And I think that's it for our challenges. We are almost to the next level, so we're doing good on that. Um, I have four more charred meat, and we have a total of seven red tea. And uh, we should probably drink one of those right now, and maybe we'll have one more charred meat. So we're in reasonably good shape when it comes to... Um, our food and water. Okay, so the plan for this episode to to do this is we're going to need we can't just go dig a hole and wait for, you know, four or five nightmare speed running zombies to to sneak up on us. That's just not going to work. So we're going to have to use some tactics here uh to make this work. Um so I I've got some cobble. Um we got eight building blocks. Let's make a few more blocks. Let's say let's make another 12 of those and uh, I might end up making those solid blocks again and let's go see if we can get this thing knocked out we've got uh, that's all I got is a stone shovel and yeah so our quest the quest is over this way and just start working our way over there and keep an eye open for any danger We're still not really in a place where we can, where we want to be, you know, taking Zeke's on head to head. And especially not the more dangerous ones, like a biker, for example. All right, so we're actually right here. Um, I wish we were on a little bit flatter ground. Let's get rid of this tree. Uh, shoot, I didn't bring any stones with me. Okay, well, let's get some stones real quick. Make sure that falling tree didn't attract anybody's attention. I have my little room air conditioner running in the background because it's really hot in my office, so hopefully that doesn't come through the mic, but if it does, I apologize in advance. Oh, shit. All right, that's just business, dude. He's not too terribly scary, but he just kind of peeked over the hill there. Oh, I forgot I switched. <laughs> I switched my toolbar. All right. Did that get anybody else's attention? I I, I put the pistol in three because that's what I've been using my knife in. So, yeah, that we don't want to be making too many of those kinds of mistakes. That shit will get you killed. 208 brass. That's pretty good. Right, let's just peek up over the top of the hill, make sure there's nobody else in the immediate vicinity. 
we're gonna have our hands full enough as it is with just what this quest is gonna throw out at us let's get a few more stone here I hear a crawly crawl well that's not a crawly crawl that's an egger no get number four right in the nuts dude that's right you deserve it actually how do we know Edgar deserves it maybe he was a decent human being until the virus took over him I wouldn't bet money on that though because Edgar is kind of a dick he's a dead one now but here again how do I know he's a dick maybe he wasn't maybe he was the most benevolent ph philanthropic uh, kindest fat guy in the world I don't know <laughs> I guess we never will know, will we? All I know is Zombie Edgar is a dick. There's no doubt about it. He is an unfriendly mofo. Okay. Let's quit fucking around here and get to, get to work. So, what we're going to do... I think we're going to we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a... Hmm. There's a couple ways we could do this. We could, I could actually build a little bit of a barricade around here. Uh, but that's going to take a lot of materials. I think the simpler thing to do is just going to be to make a pillar that we can jump up on. But that pillar needs to be made out of cobble, um, you know, to be strong enough. All right, so let's put, let's make it a two block high. Oh, you know what though? Hold on. Those will disappear when we start the quest. All right, let's start the quest first. Oh, wow, that's not very big. Okay. Glad I remembered to do that before I started upgrading. If we are only too high, the Zika Roos could potentially reach us. But if we go three high, then we're not going to be able to reach them very well. So let's upgrade this here. And, well, we can do that now. But once we have a hole in the ground... So I think what we'll do is we'll put that there, jump up, and then grab it. Okay, let's do this. It's, wait, it's just you? I went to all that trouble for just you? And you're already dead? I made way too big of a deal out of this. <laughs> He's not dead yet, though. I'm not dead yet. What happened to the days when you got like a shit ton of Zeeks coming after you? Even on single player, you know? I don't know. I, I guess they nerfed it. I guess they nerfed it. You're not- God damn it! will you die, please? <laughs> I keep thinking he's dead. Alright, he's dead now. Uh, all right, so that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad at all. Uh, we got some water out of the deal and a chamois sandwich and, I don't know, some other shit. So, okay. There you go. I guess I guess we can leave that there. There's no reason to take it down. Hopefully this will open up, you know, normal quests for us, though, now. And then we can start doing those because oh, it's good to know that there's nitrate here. Um, we've got all four of the resources really close by. There's iron over there, there's lead over there, there's coal just a little bit further that way, and now we have nitrate here, so... I think they're close enough by that I don't need to mark it. We'll be able to find it. Plus, if we look on the map anyway, you can see, you know, this shows up as white. The coal is this black thingy here. The lead, I think, is... This. Oh, looks, there's even more nitrate over there, so yeah. When the time comes for us to start doing some actual mining, we'll have plenty of resources nearby. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I, uh, you know, in Alpha 2021, when you would do a buried supply quest on single player, mind you, you would get a rush of zombs, like three or four, 
all running, you know, and uh, I just assumed that was still the case because I didn't know they had nerfed that. Definitely works in our favor, but still, you know. Let's hit this stump while we're here and see if we can... Honey! We like honey. All right, let's take care of this zombadoo. We'll just start working our way to Rex. Come on, brother. Oh, he already lost track of us. See what's in here. Some nails. Are you are you coming? Here he comes. <laughs> he dead. Alright, let's get our arrows back. That was just too easy. Okay, don't get cocky, OG. That's when you will get your ass handed to you by this game. No cockiness allowed. All right, Rick, we did your quest. Okay, fucker. You respect the shop rules and we'll get along just fine. Why did you lead me to believe that that buried treasure quest was going to be so dangerous, you asshole? Great. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Uh, oh, spend it all wow. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to do? I mean, I am a big fan of the shotgun, of course. We already have a pistol, though, so if we took that, we, I would think we'd get some, hopefully, some 9mm ammo. Eh, but the thing is, is... Honestly, the, mach the pipe machine gun would be good in a pinch. The rifle would be really good for hunting. Uh... Let's go with Let's go with the rifle for hunting. Alright, nice. Now give us some real jobs. No more buried supplies. Even though actually they're pretty easy. Um let's do a the closest clear. You better take this job. I'm At Dick Steiner. For any more of your bullshit. <laughs> any more of your bullshit. Alright, well, we already know the deal of Dick's. Don't just stand there with your thumb up your ass. Get the job done. And we also, um, I also did harvest all those uh, booths, so we got, I don't know, I got about 50 leather or something like that out of there. Don't test my patience. It's thicker <sighs> than your wallet. All right. Let's sell him those, those. Will he buy some of those? Yeah, he will. Okay, good. I don't think he'll buy anything all else. All right. Now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. All right. Nice. This is going to be great, you guys, for for um, hunting in particular all right so i'm gonna uh, i don't want my knife to be in in slot four ultimately because i i have a, a certain arrangement that i put my weapons in so let's move the knife to six and we'll put the rifle in four so knife is in six Hand, knife is in six. You hit the number six key when you want the knife, okay? Okay. There. We've we've we settled that. Beauty. Alright. I think we should go kick the shit out of Dick's Diner again. And we'll we'll I'll probably speed run it this time just because you guys saw me do that in the last episode. And we have a very high probability of getting our that final cooking magazine in there that we need for you know bacon and eggs and then we'll then we'll really be doing well yes indeed all right guys let's get this party started uh we're gonna pretty much just do a repeat of what we did last time um make sure there's no zombos around here Um, let's also, uh, we got a, we got another point. Oh, no, we didn't. Never mind. I thought we got another point. We didn't. Uh, I wonder if we can cheese that buzzard. 
with some nerd pulls. Okay, that takes care of the buzzard. This is a clear, so we have to kill everything. Um. All right, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same tactic as before. I'm going to pull everybody back to this back door with a hatch down and just take them out real quick. Um, Because if we... Oh, shit, I was going to do a dew collector, too. I got all the stuff for it. Let's make sure we do that when we go back to the base after this. Uh, but Because if, if we can knock this out really quick, then we'll have time to, of course, do another one. Old coot, what you got? You're not bringing counterfeit. I'd shake your hand, but I bet you got dysentery the way you hmm, smell. That's a pretty nice stuff. I think I think the thing that'll probably be the most beneficial to us right now is the nine mil ammo because I can't make that yet. All that other stuff I can make. Well, except for the magazine, of course. Oh yeah, so I think that we'll take that. All right. Make up your mind or make your way out. 400 cash. Let's sell this, that, those, this, 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 and that. Oh, and these. Okay, so that gets us up to 596 cash. Do you have the last cooking magazine by chance? Shotgun weekly vehicles. Oh, geez, that's expensive. Uh... I guess he doesn't. Wrench would be nice, but we'll eventually come across that. Okay, so he doesn't really have anything I think that we need to buy. Unfortunately, I did Shit, not find I treat you a cooking magazine. You don't even fucking tip Let's take the next job here. Uh, so the whatever the next closest one is, um, 499, 442. I'm gonna make you an Wilbur's place. You, can't you better not fuck All right, this up. Let's do it. Or I'll cut your goddamn throat. I'll cut your goddamn throat. Oh. 
Oh, it's, it's big dude. All right, let's put that in there. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just, let's just not worry about him right now. I want to get go on another job. Oh, did we have a board come through? I see his arm there and his arm there. Let's see if we can avoid them. I just want to make sure we didn't have an horde come through because then there could be a more uh, a few more floating around here. Well, we're going that direction anyway. Um. All right, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's make ourselves a drop chest. And we'll just set it down by the stop sign. Uh, yeah, well, no, I don't think we need to take those with us. One iron arrow is not really doing us a whole lot of a lot of good. Okay, we'll just... We'll kind of keep that... Probably actually just keep that shit in there, and then as we accumulate it... We grab it and go sell it and wash, rinse, repeat. All right, so let's move towards this quest. Um, it's going to take us up into the hills, it looks like. I'm uh, I, I'm mildly disappointed that we didn't find one more cooking book, but that's okay. We'll, we'll definitely uh, come across it soon enough, I'm sure. Have another Hawaii 50. And I don't have any stone on me. I think I want to uh, just just get him out of here. We could kill him of course, but I'd rather get to the job. They still do that weird thing where they run towards you first before they run after the, the stone. Let's go up here. Don't really want to get in a tangle with a Zeke on a hillside. That's not usually a good idea. Shit! I already forgot. I told myself it was in number six and I forgot. And because I forget, we get smacked around. That's what I get for forgetting. Oh, this is the A-frame. Okay. I don't... Ooh. I don't think I've been in the A-frames since um, 1.0, so I don't know how... It's been changed. Put him down. Oh, no, that's... Uh, that's not the A-frame. It's a different house. Nice. Uh, armor. Oh, that's going to be good later on. I love the sniper rifle in this game with armor piercing ammo. That is a nice find. I'll take it. Oh, by the way, for those of you who maybe are new to watching me play this game, my rules on double looting are that if we're going to, I'll do a little bit of double looting on like the outside of a POI, but I typically won't 
like try and go get the the fat loots or anything like that and then start the quest over so we'll just do you know some kind of quick basic outdoor looting and then we start the quest like for example this is um this is a good little source of wood here so let's grab it but yeah i don't go in and get like the main loot and then start the quest and go get it again um if if you even can do that anymore didn't they didn't they nerf that actually i don't remember Maybe, maybe they did. But even before they did, that was my MO. Now, if I'm just going into a POI to do a POI, of course I'll grab the stash at that point, but not if it's a quest. Uh, did we check the mailbox? Yeah, that mailbox is open. All right. Paper. Check the vehicle again. Okay. And we'll hit the wood again. Okay, we got bow over there. This is that place that has the basement, I think, right? Well, we can't tell from there, but it's got a cellar in it. Uh... Don't like the fact that Bo is wandering around outside of this place. Where did he even go? Oh, there he is. So why don't we... Um. Yeah, we need to get him out of here. Otherwise, he's going to sneak up on us when we're trying to do our thing, and that's not going to go well for us. Tagged us once. We'll see how we're doing. Um, let's take a, a red tea. And I think I'm going to throw down these eggs just because we're getting kind of low on food. We don't need that. And we don't need that or that. I think we'll hang on to everything else. Okay. Who are we dealing with? Skinny Pete. There's another point for us. Oh. I was thinking those were arrows. Um... As we get a, a little bit stronger, you'll see me do less and less blocking the doors and more taking them on. But we're still not really at the point where we can just do that uh, across the board, right? It kind of depends upon the ZOM. Let's close that for the moment. And we'll also repair it. We have a point. Um, I was going to put that point into Deadeye. Um, because we got the rifle. And what does that give us? 10% more damage. Uh, I think we will. Because I am planning on specking into sniper rifles eventually. So I think we'll do that. And then probably the next one we'll do is um, cardio. Probably. We'll see. I also want to do healing factor and um, pain tolerance too. Okay. Again, no zombies allowed outside. 
while we're doing our thing. Except for I heard a female zombie and I see a male. So what's up with that? Where's this female Zeke at? It's really hard to see. There she is. You know, Darlene is still fast as hell. Kind of scary. Almost certainly gonna have Zeke's upstairs. Um, we could get another sneaky sneak off on one of them. That'd be good. Okay, I think we're clear in here. Shit, there's a zombie right there. <laughs> okay. Um, I couldn't tell what zom that is, so we're gonna we're gonna block the door. And in case there's one in here, let's repair that door too. Let's see what's in here. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll take that because we still have two red teas. And I'll just drink one right now, and then we'll be good. Who is that? I can't tell. It's so fucking dark. Oh my god, that's Biker. That's the worst zombie we could possibly run into. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're not fucking around with him. I'm glad I checked. Oh my god. If he would have gotten out of there, he would have killed us. I, I don't think I could have gotten... Well, we do have a Mega Crush, so I might have been able to get away from him. Whew. Scary. I'm just prolonging the inevitable. <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll be able to kill him. He, I don't think he'll be able to break through a cobblestone. Jeez, that's the second one I found after we bought it. Of course, it's the way it goes, right? Come on, give me a cooking magazine. Game, God damn it. Not a single one in here. What about in here? Nope. All right. Let's uh let's make sure this is in good repair. We'll scrap that. I'm not going to carry those around or that around. Uh, let's fully repair this and then we'll ditch the bones. I'm just trying to not get encumbered too badly. Um, I think I'm going to... Uh, let's just ditch the gunpowder. And there we go. Okay. I could shoot him with my rifle, but that might attract... There, you know, there's going to be another Zom upstairs, so... Oh, shit. Okay, name of the game here is Don't Let Him Touch Us. Just take this nice and slow. Stay back. We have a good reach on our sledgehammer. All right, let's check this. Yeah, we're okay. Replenish the bleeds. Top that off. Let's repair this. Oh, for Pete's sake. Dude, really? Do you have to do that? You 
get arrows in the ass then. That's the rules. You go down and crouch like that, and you get arrow enemas. I don't want to take a chance of trying to get a bleed on him again and having him having him tag us. Especially since we're not at full health anyway. Whew. 750 XP. Okay, good. Um, let's just cut through the wall here because it's going to take a lot less time than breaking the cobblestone. I guess that's it for in here. Let's get the leather from these from this furniture. Or cloth, I guess. Trash on the wall. Uh you know what? I'm not taking either one of those things. Now we're encumbered by two points. Let's repair this and that'll get rid of that stone. Uh, let's just eat these. Get rid of the uh, rotten meat and I think we're good. Okay. So we're gonna have some zombies up. You know what, actually before we do that, let's just check. Oh, we didn't check this room, did we? Darling, darling, you're small potatoes compared to Biker. Though you are fast, I'll give you that. Backpack. <laughs> nice. Shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. Nice. Take it. Okay, let's make sure the outside's clear uh, in case we have to go barreling out the front door, which we probably will. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to eat these just because we are encumbered. And I'm going to scrap these because we were encumbered. Save some room. All right, let's get ready to bail as quickly as possible because that's our last physique. I just don't know what it is. Oh, there's two zombies up here. All right, we have Ronald McDonald and Skater Punk. Skater Punk is more dangerous than Ronnie McDonnie is. Any chance we can pull McDonald by himself? Okay, that worked out quite well. No, don't be doing that crouching shit. Damn it, Jim. I don't know if his name's Jim. Uh, get up here. He's pretty tough, as you can see. That's why I didn't want to take him on head to head. Okay, we did it. Let's see what we get. Got some ammo. All right, iron arrows, pop and pills box. Ooh, that's good stuff. 
We'll pick that up and just scrap it along with this. And yeah, we're going to be a bit encumbered. We'll figure it out. Medical supplies. And the fat loots. Let's eat the peas now. 10% more damage with 44s. All right. Maybe later. This... Okay, that does a range damage of 28. This does a range damage of 36. I don't even... Th well, it does have a sell price. Okay. I think we'll we'll sell it. And we'll get a little more value for it if we repair it. Plus, that'll save us a spot. Okay, I don't want to run all the way back to the trader encumbered. So something's going to have to go here. Let's get rid of the Sammy Chisses. Let's get rid of the lead. Uh, let's get rid of uh, 13 paper. That kind of sucks. But yeah, we better get rid of that too. Um, that's, those don't sell for much. If we scrap those, that frees us up another slot. One more thing. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? How about if we drink this? You know what? If I pick the sandwiches back up and do this. We can get our health topped off completely. And then some. I know I actually only needed to eat one, but I'm, we need to free up space. That did take a little bit of health away from us, but that'll, that'll replenish over time. Okay. I'll see you guys back at the trader. Uh, I'll leave the camera running in case something crazy happens, but otherwise I'll see you there. All right, let's see what we get. I'll sell you goods, but if you cross me... You'll meet the wrong end of my 44. Urban combat. Landmines want... Oh, definitely taking that. That is one of the best uh, books in the game. We don't have to worry about landmines. Yep, we're taking that. Okay. Um, let's take a look chop, at inventory. Chop, fuck. We're going to sell that. Um... I think I'm going to continue hanging on to plastic so we can make even more dew collectors. Uh, and that's, I think, oh, and we can sell this. We don't need two of those right now. So that brings us up to 1,069 coin. That is a good thing. He's got a forge ahead. He's got three of them, but, uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll hold off on that. Be careful out there. You wouldn't want to get hurt. Okay, next closest clear job is 496. I got some shit work for a fuck up like you. The Pal Residence. Get moving, jackass. This don't pay by the hour. All right. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. I'm going to grab this other stuff in here. Um, yeah, let's just take all of it, but I will leave this here as a drop chest for the future. So let's see, N tomorrow will be day five. So we'll probably just go do a couple more jobs for wrecked and then we need to start thinking about horde night. It is my plan to use the diner. Oh shit. There's Hawaii five Oh. For, you know, for our horde base. I, I don't know exactly how we're going to configure it, but uh, we're going to use that building as the horde base, and then we'll, we'll kind of figure out, you know, what what to do with that. Make sure there's nobody else around as we work our way back home. But yeah, it was a good day. We got a couple of, uh, well, we got th actually we got three quests knocked out. And uh, made some good progress. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Oh, don't forget to read that. We read it. Bye.